Hey, good morning. It's almost six o'clock. I um, have been working on this uh, old cutter grinder, uh, just trying to uh, improve things uh, that I had going and uh, uh, adapt it to uh, the horizontal mill. And uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what I've got set up and I I'm really happy with it. Um, I got this old fixture here that's a geometric die sharpener, but uh, you can attach tool posts to it and tilt it and stuff like that. But you can also do that if you find a spare uh, bracket set up, like on, on the work head. And I see these around quite a bit. So you can hook all this stuff up to one of those. A friend of mine does. That's kind of where I got this idea to you know, do do all kinds of stuff. And, you know, if you get a little pl uh, platen like this, you can tilt it. You can clamp stuff to it. You can um, actually just uh, grind or sharpen anything. Um, one of the things that I, that I picked up years ago, and this was an Inco item, and it works on grinders, it's... Uh, HMH and it's made in Sweden for near um, um, Travadile is what it is. So if you're going this direction, you read this uh, veneer here, you know, it's uh, tenths of an inch and this would be 25 thousandths. And if you go in that direction, you read that way. Then you can set this thing to zero. And there's no moving parts, see? Now, Weldon made these too. And uh, I've seen these on a few cutter grinders, the Weldon version. I don't know if they were made in Sweden too, but they look uh, exactly the same. So if you see one of these, that's uh, what it is. Very simple to adjust. Just got a roller back there that rolls on the, on the machine. And uh, I got the work, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got the work head all set up. I can uh, um, put the 50 taper and have it run true here. I've got 5C uh, collet here. I can put chucks on, all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, I got a collet chuck here. I can put in the, the tool post. Um, the other guy I know that does this, um, he, he's got like a... An AXA or the next size up uh, piston tool posts used. You know, they're very inexpensive. So that's not an expensive thing to do. But you can take a hook, a tool post up to just about anything that uh, that you can tell. I got a vise that goes into that. It's just really slick. And uh, back here... Um, this is a device that was uh, kind of common on some Hanford machines, and it's an adjustable um, um, tooth rest, and it's really a nice item, and you'll see me um, using this thing. And uh, some of the small things, uh, like um, this is kind of how tooth rests work, by the way, so you can put a even on this one, this is a one inch end mill. And so you run it by the cutter like that, you know, move the table back and forth and the cutter uh, follows that. So, and it's nice to have that kind of adjustment, but uh, the, <laughs> the machine, it, it takes a lot of little tools and stuff. So I whacked off some wrenches, you know, so I could kind of keep things in place to like lock the head and, uh, Oh, table dogs and, and stuff like that, because it's really a pain trying to find things. I, I, uh, I made, uh, I think, five Allen wrenches and put uh, um, aluminum uh, caps on the end so I can find them, and it actually works. So anything you can do to save time and... Um, it's just a real benefit. But the the neat thing about this machine is it, it provides sharp cutters for all the other machines. And, you know, precise angles and 
all that stuff you, you might want. Here's some more of my Allen wrenches down here. I'm trying to keep things organized a little bit. Here's the diamond uh, laps and uh, some uh, abrasive laps and stones for uh, uh, high speed steel. And, and here, here's the dressing stick for the uh, diamond wheel. Here's a Norbite stick for uh, vitrified wheels, which is kind of a handy thing to have. And these aren't getting hard to find. So if you see a Norbite stick, you might pick it up. You might find it useful. Okay. And I've got some platforms that help, you know, if you want to square stuff up. Like, uh... uh you can, I can set this up on the table, stick a square on it, and square something up that's uh, standing high. This, by the way, is a, <clears throat> a roller out of a large Tempkin bearing. And uh, a salesman came by years ago, and, it, and uh, he was uh, selling some tooling and stuff. And we tried it out on the Monarch 10 E, some... Uh, Oh, it's either polycrystalline diamond or some fancy CPA, but it actually turned out pretty good. Timkin Baron roller. Here's another roller out of a Timkin. So stuff, and I surface ground them flat. And uh, it's just really nice to have this machine working and uh, set up like this. It's just fantastic. I can just do so much with it. You can grind absolutely any shape on it. Now, this older one does not have a tilt head, so I can hook a tool post uh, grinder up on top here and uh, use it for internal grinding and, and things like that. So this thing's just absolutely versatile. Just really nice. But I thought I'd show that off. And it, it, it is the heart of my shop. I mean, <laughs> sure, tools, what, what's not to like? And uh, um, you can get around uh, supply chain problems if you can't buy the inserts you're looking for. You just grind the shape you want and get it done. That's kind of a handy thing. Uh, well, it sounds like Walla Walla here. I, I don't think it's changed, but uh, there's no guaranteed next day air. So it's kind of like uh, a little bit isolated in a way. In some of the other small towns and other places I've been up north, it, it's like that too. So, you know, you can have uh, a, a job can come in where a piece of equipment's broke down and uh, the other guys are going to have to order a tool maybe or something like that. But you can uh, get it done instantly. Oh, fairly instantly. Come up with any tool you need. So let's kind of do the little walk around this thing. Ah, oh, such a nice machine. It does so much. <laughs> All right. So... I'm glad you uh, like to come along while I uh, fix up my machines. Um, uh, eventually, I'm going to take on projects other than uh, fixing up old machines, <laughs> machine tools, <laughs> fix other kinds of machines, you know, old tractors, I don't know, anything. Uh, I've been, maybe I'm a little tired, but I've been uh, working on old machines for more than two years, and I'd sure like to work on some other old antiques, too. I know, a little bit of variety would, uh, wouldn't hurt a little bit. But I got that set up. The uh, next thing I'm doing is finishing up on this uh, horizontal mill. And um, uh, what do I got to do? I got to do some me mechanical things. And then I got to make um, uh, this adapter... Uh, well, it's an old shank here, and I got to make some adapters so I can uh, uh, hook up my wall hopper and uh, tree boring heads. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, get.
get busy with that. I've got some lathe work to do on the uh, fabulous uh, inch metric uh, Monarch 10 E. And I'll just turn the camera on. That thing's so much fun to run. Okay, well, I'll be back with that probably pretty soon if I can sneak out here and do it. And I hope you guys can sneak out in your shop and get something done. Sometimes it's kind of hard. <laughs> okay, you have a good day. And uh, see you soon.